Hi friend, I hope you're doing super super well. So today's story is about a man named Malachi. So let me give you a little bit of a background what's happening in the country. So the Israelites, they were released um, to go back home, like out of the captivity with the Persians at the time, or the Babylonians, and they could go back to their own land. So they started rebuilding their city, they started rebuilding the wall, and they were kind of done with that. Um, and then, while that's all going on, they're really on fire for God. Like, they get taught again in the law, they get taught again all the things they needed to know about God. But now, they get a little bit, like, comfortable. The land is kind of, like, not under pressure. It seems like things are mainly done, and now they just live their lives. But in that process, they start getting a little bit more loose in their morals. They start getting a little bit more detached from God, like they're not as connected with him, like in their relationship with him. So they're kind of like moving in a not so good direction. And that's the time when God gives his message to Malachi. So he sends again a prophet. God really cares about his people, as you see, like he really makes sure. Guys like, I want you to know that I'm for you and I'm sending you people so you actually realize if you're on the wrong track or if you're in the wrong direction you know imagine like a parent like if they see their child going in a bad direction they do anything like to correct it right or to help them get in a better direction if they can and that's kind of what God does through the prophets so Malachi has this honorable job to bring a message to the Israelites to give them direction again and to help them like refocus on God and like keep looking at God. So now you could start a message like this anyway, right? Like God could have given him a message of like, hey guys, you were off track, get back on track. Or it could be like, guys, remember how bad it was like in the past? Like remember how bad captivity was? Do you want to go back there? He could start like that to make them feel guilty or make them remember. But no. You know how God starts? Look at the first chapter of the book of Malachi. And I love that in that story. He starts off with like, I love you. He's telling his people, I love you. Kind of like a parent would tell his child or her child. Like, hey, I love you, child. Whatever happens, whatever's going on, remember that foundation. And I love how Malachi gets the opportunity to tell people about how much God loves them. He gets to communicate with people the love of God. That's the first thing he gets to communicate with them. Beautiful. A lot of the other prophets like, didn't have like, as nice of a message right away. But here, God wants his people to know, I love you. I'm sure Malachi probably felt really happy about that. He would probably be like, yes, I love bringing a message like this. I love bringing that message. Because it's exciting. So imagine you're that prophet and you can bring a message to people from a God that says, I love you. Isn't that great? It's way better than bringing a message of like everything's going to be destroyed or you're gonna all go in trouble. No, you bring a message of like a father that loves his children so much. And that's the message that hasn't changed. Just think of Easter that we just celebrated. God sent his loving son into the world. He loved the world so much. And that's the same today. God screams it from the mountaintops. God screams it all over the place. I love you, I love you, I love you. And we have to remember that. And Malachi had the honor to share that message. But we all have the honor to do that too. I wanna encourage you, let's go to people and tell them how loved they are by God how much he loves them. People need to hear that. People need to know how loved they are by God. 
before all the other things can happen, they first have to know you are my beloved child. So let's be God's ambassadors. Let's bring the good news. Let's tell people how loved they are by their father. And let's start with the people right around us. Let's bring this message of love to our neighbors, to work colleagues, to people we know, maybe to the cashier at the grocery store. Let them know how loved they are by their father. And how can we do that? We can do it through our actions, through the way we treat them, through the way we care about them. But then we can also do it by really sharing the message, sharing the message of the good news, by maybe just saying, hey, remember today, God loves you so much. And then they might ask later on, really, what, what do you mean with that? And then we can go deeper. But open up that conversation. God, I just want to pray that you give us courage to talk to people around us about your love. That you give us your love so deep in our hearts that we love them with your love, that they experience it. So God, just open that door and make a way for your love to shine through to many, many people. Thank you, Father, for that. Thank you that you, first of all, are a loving Father, a loving Father who cares about His children. And thank you that this is your heart. Thank you, Dad, for that. So I just want to pray. Give us that heart for people around us. Thank you for that. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Show God's love today and share God's love today. Bye.